man, how the fuck this thing gonna show me it's skipping frames? And I ain't even clicked the live scene yet. I mean, I don't even have it running on the post yet at this point. Not happy with that coloring though. Let's go back to here. Let's go back to where we were. That's a little better actually. That's better. Alright, make sure I do the focus before I go live. Aren't you guys glad that I have such a professional attitude here? Alright. Showing skip frame rates. Why am I showing skip frame rates, you fuck? Candy ass. Uh, thank you very much, Runestone. Thank you. So I'm arguing with my cameras and shit here. Show me skipping frames, and I don't know why. There's like nothing else running on the computer, so it shouldn't be doing anything there. Read skip frames detected 99%, 149%. What the fuck? Ugh. Damn, it didn't hear it pop up either, though. Usually it yells at people, and, you know. Gives them like the Pierre Robert. Shouting, uh, what's he do? Hey. There we go. Play. There we go. Alright, hopefully this, so that's the last of the skip frames. It has me concerned. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Last night I said my golden night is not very hard, so I expect to go beyond the goal. Which is... That little bad boy there, on the bamboo point of the, uh... Let me get rid of this thing. It's not, almost everything on here is dry, so we're going to Uh, let's mess around with the yellows last night, so maybe they're still okay. Alright, you know, we're just going to pull it away. Uh, oh, before I forget... Dude, you better knock with that skip frame rate shit. I am going to have to check this now. This is because we're concerned. This probably actually works to do, but... Uh, reference photo. Today I'll learn how to type. Um, take up nearly all of my time. Follows Daryl every play. It's Mr. Nash's jacket day. Of course, it's down with me. Ugh. This chair's going soon, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, what do we have here? We want to make sure we have a little bit of Naples yellow red again. That's the weirdest name for a paint, if you ask me. I mean, like... Mm, no, that's too much. Alright. Little brush, little brush, little brush. Not to be confused with Little Bear, which my... I used to put it on for my oldest daughter to make her go to sleep. Because that show was about as fucking dull as it ever got. Anybody remember Little Bear? I mean, you used to put me to sleep. Like, that's what used to kill me. It's like, I'd put it on for her when she was, you know, like, two and a half, three years old. You know, waking up at the butt crack of dawn, and meanwhile, I'm sitting there drifting off like, you know, 
Which is funny, because when I was a kid, actually, that was, that's a Maury Sindak book. And actually, it was one of the ones I had. But, damn it, that show was like... Like, everybody was just on opioids or something like this. Or, you know, like quaaludes or something. And they were recording that. Gee, little Barry, that was lots of fun. That's a, that's a fucking... Uh. Yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, little Barry, I had a great time adventuring with you today. It was wonderful. God, I'm old. Just make sure there's a fresh coat down there, just so I can work with it. Alright. Uh, so my yellow hooker still working there, right? Just a little bit, just need to be rough. The push is on though, we're getting close. Um, Getting very close, actually. I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. I'll be honest. Something kind of has popped in my head recently that makes me desperately want to finish this up. Because what's in my head can't be done on this. We're too far along in it. Um, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Okay, right in there. Just a tab. There we go. Cool. Um, like, if I were to attempt it on here, it would just just destroy this painting um and that's not trying to be you know overly dramatic or anything it's like literally i have no idea how i would implement it um i'm not even sure if i want to implement it it's one of these things that's like it's something i want to experiment with uh, and i'm not even sure how i'm going to end up experimenting with it um yeah it's just easier show it's not, um, it's not, like, these are literally, like, just, uh, I mean, literally, it's just me fucking around at work. Like, while I'm in between phone calls and shit like that. But I was starting to mess around with these things. I'll start you where, I'll start you at the beginning, and then when I get to the end, I'll stop. Like, I started screwing around with this thing. I want to make sure I'm trying to center it. Okay, I don't think I can see that thing. But it's like, uh, okay. So it's just like a weird bunch of doodles, just scribbling around, you know. Um, sort of symmetrical, but not really. Like little bits are off a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, and I had to wait out a lot of stuff around it because there's like I did. I literally write notes about like you know what my customers are asking for, their their account numbers and stuff. So you can't really see that stuff, so I had to wipe all around that. But. So I started filling out those two. Those were the first two I did. And then, like, over the past, like, three days at work or so, I've been working on this chump right here. You guys see that? Okay, and then today I did this one. Yeah, I always have fucking go the wrong way first. So I've been doing these weird designs, right? It's kind of, they're, they're pseudo-tribal. Um, yeah, and I'm literally just doodling. I start with nothing. I'm not planning on any shape. I'm not really planning on doing uh, any particular pattern or anything like that. Which is where what I am thinking about may actually fuck it and ruin it. So I'm not sure I want to chase this dragon or not um, fully. But I was thinking that like if you look at those last two... The ones for, that I was doing over the past few days, and then the um, that other bad boy I had, or whatever that, that did today, they kind of have pseudo organic shapes, um, like this one. My one buddy looked at it. I'm going back to the put up there again. Yeah, there we go. Like my one buddy looked at it, and said it looks like like almost like the inside and outside of an ear, but not slapped together. My wife was looking at it saying how it looked very much like an apple. Um, and I saw the apple one first. That's the one I looked at too. And I was like, and it may be because I think that's the way I'm going to experiment with it. Um, 
So that's maybe why I saw the apple first. The apple made me think of the way I might experiment it with it first. I'm not seeing it as something that will stay black and white. Um, but more something I may play with. Maybe no longer dashes of color, but varying colors within patterning. So if you picture that last one with like a, a, as an apple with just that weird shit inside of it. You know, maybe the apple was cut or whatever, you know. And so there's different patterning in there. Um, that's the general idea that I'm working with. I'm just not sure. It is something I want to trace. I mean, it's something I will play with, but I'm not going to commit 100% to it. But I can't, and that's why I can't start it. Like, I can't go and just suddenly start doing rocks here uh, with that. It would likely have me not happy by the end of it. And I really do want this piece. Because this is, this is one of my favorite places, I've said many times. Um, at the Philadelphia uh, Museum of Art. I like to go hang out here. Let's turn that of this down. Throw out the other one there. Oh, sort of. Um, Fucky hiding. Get over here. There we go. Little Naples Yellow Deep, little cadmium yellow medium. I got all the colors I need for this thing. I might as well start loading up for the uh, bamboo too, shouldn't I? Should. I should. I should. I should. I should. Oh, 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 oh. oh gosh. But, like I said, I'm probably going to screw around with those, um, those shapes and see what we come at, like, what I can get out of them. Like, if I, um, I have off tomorrow for a doctor's appointment, um, and I actually, cross your fingers, have a job interview on the phone, to, so hopefully I can get out of this shit all I'm in and get somewhere that's better suited for my mental states. Um. And leave my long nightmare behind me. Um, but the uh, what I'll probably end up doing tomorrow is I'll, I'll break out like my colored pencils and start trying to see what I could do. Uh, I'll probably piss the wife off by stealing the uh, fruit from the kitchen and pulling out a still life. It's not going to be here on camera again because uh, literally I, I don't need to uh, have this whole thing blow up in my face and then have a recording of me going ape shit. That would probably be a good fucking TV, wouldn't it? But anyway. Let's think what else was in my head today. Um... I mentioned on my Discord uh, post I just had, we're on the push for 50 here. We're getting pretty damn close. Um, let's see, Runestone Gaming just added, so that should be 42, I think. Oh, I can't check it, because I keep dropping frames. Why are you dropping frames, you fuck? Seriously, what's your fucking problem? Everything's in properly, right? Damn it, man. Is it skipping badly? Please let me know. I have no idea why it would be doing anything. Because it's literally... I haven't touched anything. Uh, anything important, let's say, I'll put it that way. Since uh, last night. So I don't know why last night was fine and now tonight's giving me shit. Um, but regarding the 50, I'll go back to that because I'm trying to keep myself from flipping out about the frame rate. 
Um, I haven't decided yet. I want to do something, but I don't know what. Probably, I, I'm thinking a, a Gleam giveaway. Um, like, I'll set something up with that. I think I can do that. And um, so maybe like a drawing or something. one thing posters are still for sale um, there's my view of tulips those are on to society studios.com um, put the link in a second give me two seconds here all right right in here there's a little bit of something right there it's like grayed out right there and I just want to get that little like it's like a smoky thing there Try not to lose my picture, which is like hanging woefully close to the edge of the keyboard. Damn, man, every time I type something now. Shit, dude. Oh, I just saw that one. That ain't good. Why are you giving me trouble, man? Sweet comic. Valentine, you make me smile, my heart. I gotta look at this thing, man. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable. Alright, looks like it's okay. Like it's all right. I'm trying not to like bog down my network at this point because it's like Jesus Christ. Close all this shit out. Right, admittedly, I have a lot more work than I thought I did. Okay. Going away, fucking around with my network. My figure, listening, weak. Is your mouth? A little weak when you open it to speak. Are you smart? But don't send your hair for me, not if you care for me. Stay, little Valentine, stay. Day is Valentine's Day. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? Uh, let's get a little bit of that in there. This is going to go here. Too much, I need a little white in there. Not if you care for me. There we go. Look what we need. What do we need to start that? 
that the cadmium yellow medium is going to be a good starting point. occurred to me the other day when I was looking at this actually closely as opposed to when I normally just sort of half-ass look at it but that rock went behind it this rock goes in front of it so I gotta do a little on-the-fly adjustments Oh, the post that I posted, I forgot the post that, yeah, Jesus Christ, so that's like three times fast. Um, the posters that I just made, it, you know, as I'm pointing to my website for, they're $12 that includes uh, shipping. It's of my view of tools, not this one, because this one's not done yet. Um, and it's a limited edition thing right now. So even if I end up doing a reprint of those at some point, they're not, these ones are literally marked first run, so they're not. Like I, I've written them, yeah, I handwrite it in so everybody, you know, and that's a certificate of authenticity with it, all sorts of fun shit. So this is, these are special. Truth be told, when it comes to shipping, I probably should charge more. <laughs> but I made a promise, these are for shipping included, so I'm not going to add that on. Apparently when you ship with tubes, it only allows first class shipments. So shipping was a little more than I expected it to be, especially because one person I shipped to was like literally around the corner from me. I'm like, God damn it, I could have walked it over there. <laughs> but I put it in the pricing, so it's just easier, you know, whatever. fucking whatever. I need, I need clean yellow ochre. Clean yellow ochre, I need some clean titanium oil. Two gloves there. And now yellow. No, that white's okay. We can use that one. Take a chunk out of it. Take a good glove. There we go. That's all I should need. When the little rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like the lazy ocean hugs the shore, spawn me close, sway me more. Like a flower bending in the breeze, bend with me, stay with me. When you dance, you have a way with me, stay with me. Way with me, 
Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I grow weak. I can hear the sound of violets long before it begins. Make me thrillers, only you know how. Sway me smooth. Sway me now. That's a brilliant damn songwriting there. They, I can hear the sound of violins. <laughs> but right as they do it, violins play. Fucking genius. Dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have the magic technique. When we sway, I grow weak. Ugh. Told you I can't sing. Here, check my hashtags. Before it begins, make me thrillers, only you know how. Sway me smooth. Wait a minute now. I'm get a little thicker in this area now because now we're we're hitting our main topic here, you know, like all this other shit. It's really just icing, you know, it's like Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring. I was bummed out, the um, recording equipment, or the um, audio input thing, I have no idea what they're actually, like the pod, or I don't know. Um, when I bought it, it said, like, oh, it comes with free software. I'm like, sweet. Like, and it was, like, music making software. I'm like, sweet, even better. I can actually try to, like, work on shit maybe to have in the background here so it's not, like, dead silent when I'm kind of stuck in thought. And then it turns out, like, I have to have something, like a MIDI or something to put in. I'm like, damn it, I just wanted something I could, like, write and put synth, you know, sounds to. I may have GarageBand for my Mac, but I can't use my Mac for from work because it's literally like a fucking computer. I have to bring it in. I have a feeling they'd be more upset about that than if I brought my laptop in. God knows that could be the reason I have frame rate drops for fuck's sakes. New software. It's messing up with everything. It's really weird though. If this is really bad, please let me know. Like, I'll hard reset if I need to. And I mean the video, not the painting. The painting sucks, I know. That's not terrible. It's getting there. I'll hate it once it's finished, but... For now, it's okay. In other words, I love you. Let's get some greens in there too at some point. Yes, I 
That's the one. Okay. I've been monitoring a long time ago. In old Mexico, stars and steel guitars and luscious lips as red as wine broke somebody's heart. And without thinking twice, I left her. And threw away the key to paradise. My indiscreet heart longs for the sweetheart that I left in a monorail. I know, I bet you why it's dropping frames. I bet you I got some sort of fucking update pending. I checked that and it's. The computer was actually sitting in here, not really charging, so it wasn't on, on. I have to stick my arm in again. I bet you as soon as I fucking do this and check for an update, it's going to be like, Oh, you got like 30 updates pending, man. And I fear that it was mine. It happened in Monterey. And without thinking twice, I left her, and I threw away the key to paradise. My indiscreet heart, I went long. No, we need uh, coffee. Let's go to the Azo Yellow Lemon. Keep everything in the Azo family for now. I think that's what I need. That's what I need. Some olive green. Maybe it's in the olive green. And they don't need a whole lot because well, it should only be in this part. And if I need it for the other thing, for the actual fountain part, I'll burn that bridge when I get there. Um, yeah, this is a little bit there. It's 
just watching a video describing, I guess, the planned um, ideas for um, what would have come after uh, Batman and Robin should the that movie had not been a horrible disaster and an abomination to movies. Um, I mean, it, it, there's no script. It's all based on like what Schumacher and um, I forget who the writer was. Like they, it was based on their descriptions of it. But Jesus, that sounded terrible. Like on the surface, actually, it would have sounded cool. It's just that you you figure, knowing, like I said, as bad as stuff got with the. Uh, Schumacher Batman. It's like, it would have been awful. I don't even know if they could have gotten some of those guys to, like, basically at one point there was going to be Batman having, under the influence of Scarecrow's uh, fear toxin, he was going to fight his, you know, uh, Jack Nicholson's Joker, um, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, Danny DeVito's Penguin, Tommy Lee Jones, Two Face, and uh, Jim Carrey's Riddler. It's like, well, first off, back then that would have literally cost a goddamn king's ransom to to do. I mean, it still would probably, but I guess you can maybe pay a little less for Jim Carrey now. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what he's really commanded anymore. But it's kind of interesting. It's like, okay, well. Let's not do that ever. Give me some fucking more lizard and crimson over there. All right. Let's be an asshole. Let's be an asshole. Man. Come on. See, if I'm thinking about it, like, unfortunately, I have to block the view. This isn't working on it. But like, if I think about how I'm looking at this other idea of what could be done, um, painting-wise, it's so like I think about stuff like this, and I think, okay, well, what if I had like a you know crazy ass patterning in here, kind of like I was showing there? It's like it could look pretty interesting. That's one of the new ones. This is in party to one. This is that is party to one. Damn it! Learned it yet? Okay. Well, this reminds me. I got to check on a. Uh... I got pinged for a YouTube dispute for one of the archives of one of these where I had been playing Mahler in the background and then somebody laid claim to it but in their claim it literally says uh, public domain so it's like how can you lay claim to public domain and Mahler's symphonies are public domain now so I was a little confused I meant to file a dispute
I mean, the only thing, you know, as far as ramifications goes is I can't monetize it, but I don't... I have, I think, two followers on YouTube. So I'm not overly concerned about whether or not I can monetize that. Maybe one day I will be, but not right now. Get her done. Get it on. Damn, do I miss most extreme challenge. Do they even still air that? Is it on Spike or FX? Something like that? There's a... You know what it was? They basically took a Japanese show called Takeshi's Castle and just overdubbed it with some of the most ridiculous horse shit you've ever heard in your life. There was always somebody whose last name was Baba Ganoush. Every episode. And a moron like me finds that absolutely hilarious every time. The thing is, I know it used to come on at like 2 in the morning, so I know I'm not staying up for it anymore. Even if they did still air it. I had some really shitty, like, um, torrents of it a while ago, too, but they were so bad, it was like, oh, this was even a waste to download illegally. I mean, I did it totally illegally. <clears throat> Problems, yeah. Running down the one night stands. Everything around me. Got to start to feel it so low. Buddy of mine posted on, on Facebook that he's working right now. The um, got a, a few storms ago. I don't remember how many now it was because only rained like twice over the summer. It rained once for 35 days and rained again for 46 days or something like that. Um, during one of the storms, the uh, King of Prussia Mall flooded, and. Uh, He's part of like the retiling crew, and he was posting pictures of it the other day. Of some of the stuff they're doing down near. At the same point, there's this um, traveling Van Gogh show where they have like some really nice replicas of some like you know 3D printed or whatever replicas of some paintings. I mean, it's a handful, and and they're okay replicas. I, just, I really want to specify that <laughs> they're not great. They're not. My big selling point for that is that I can buy prints that I lost a long time ago in another flood in my parents' house. But um, He's posting pictures of it, and I'm like, dude, you had a chance to go in there by yourself like nobody's there. It's literally right there in the background of the shots. I'm like, just, just go in there. Just, just check it out. Check it out. Jesus Christ, check it out. And play that funky music till you die. If you're a new visitor, viewer, whatever here, that you'll know, you will not understand that. Uh, I'll say it again, as I've said many times. 
Um, the reason I'm saying like they're okay replicas and it's not that big a deal, like you have to see real paintings in person. Prints don't count. Um, I mean, prints counts, but not prints. Um, stupid, stupid joke. Anyway, um, I'm so bad at this. The, uh, but it's just one of those things where it's like, because truth be told, color wise, there's there's a couple things that are wrong in the prints. Um, I've seen these paintings before, when they had the Van Goghs, Van Goghs come down to DC. And there's just a few off point colors that are just it's just it's minor stuff um but to me it was important stuff and it's just stuff that i mean don't get me wrong i'm going back there at some point um like i said i got a i got prints i gotta buy that i need to get placed but the uh the part though yeah it's funny though because we're there yeah, and we'd gone, um, the weekend had opened up, actually, so I'm that much of a loser. And, um, we, uh, we're in there, and they have people from, the, I guess, the museum there that are traveling around with the show or whatever. They seem to be from, from Amsterdam because they certainly had some sort of accent. And they're talking, yeah, they come over, they start talking to us, and... I was trying very politely to not be like, yeah, you're not going to teach me anything. There's literally not one factoid that you can drop that I don't already know. As I said, I like the point to... Um, when the Van Goghs, Van Goghs had come into town, uh, into Washington, they, um, my buddy and I went down on a very early morning train. It's four in the morning or something like that. Um, yes, yeah, four in the morning. And, um, we arrived in DC at like 6.30. We stood outside in the cold for four hours waiting to go in. And when we were in there waiting in line to go into the actual exhibit, they start hand, trying to hand out, you know, the, uh, the audio tours. And my buddy just looks at the girl. Yeah, you know, she's like, audio tour, ten dollars. He goes, audio tour. <laughs> he starts laughing at her. And he goes, I got my own, and it curses, pointing to me. So, you know, it was cute when they came over. The cutest was actually not even like the the guy with the the Dutch accent. It's like, all right, you know what, you're from there. I I had a conversation with him. I talked to him a little bit about stuff and. Yeah, I, try, I kept trying to make it clear, like, dude, uh, you know, like, as he's talking about certain paintings, I'm like, yeah, I saw this one in, you know, D.C., and uh, we saw that one down there, and I said, we also saw its, its match, you know, it was Van Gogh's bedroom, really. we saw its match in Chicago uh, two years ago, you know, I think is what it was, and, you know, just trying to make it clear to the guy, like, ah, I've seen a lot, dude. Broke ass as I am, I have seen a lot of Van Gogh paintings in my life. Now, admittedly, like about half of the Van Goghs I've seen were from that Van Gogh's Van Gogh show. So I mean, that was seventy-five pieces or something, or seventy-seven, something like that. your father it's actually probably gonna be a tricky spot right here because it's like I, I gotta make sure it doesn't blend in but 
but it is kind of pale compared to some. Here. I has been getting shaky recently. I don't know what that's about. I think it's just self confidence. Or as I used to be so assured on all my brush strokes, I would just fucking plow through stuff. And now it's like I'm like, ah, oh, this brush stroke needs to be right here, not there. Of course, it causes me to flub it more than it causes me to actually hit it. Like the same thing happens when I play like Rocket League and shit. Like I'll be playing, you know, or any video game, but I play Rocket League more than anything else at this point. Um, still. But I'll go in, I'll practice, and I'll practice, and I'll practice for like a good 20, 30 minutes before I go into any gameplay. And I'm working on goaltending, and I'm working on, you know, dribbling and little things like that. All the important shit you really should need to know to move up past platinum where I am. And as soon as I get in the game, you would have never thought I've ever played the fucking thing before. I turned into a drooling idiot. Come on, come on, come on. Get a little darker. There you go. Actually, let's get a little more of that in there, too. Add a little pump. Much better, much better. And a little bit of this in there again. Where's that picture? There we go. That's like that old time. You know, you try to be careful about something. You try to learn something specific, and then you fuck it up the second you touch it. Ah, grazie. There you go. Let's get down here into this area because now we can talk about it. Uh, what time? So I got about 13 minutes, so I gotta go in and get my kids a kiss tonight before I come back out here and finish this. Well, won't finish it tonight. I know that. I got too much to do. This is this whole fucking thing. There's this whole thing on this side here, and all that shit still. If I can start this, I'll be really happy for tonight, I'll be honest. That sounds like a pretty pathetic goal, but it's like, you know. Unfortunately, when I was younger, you know, when I was in school and stuff, I could paint eight hours a day, you know, or sometimes, like, I painted once 48 hours in a row. Because um, I just forgot to stop. Um, and, um... That was after school, though. I mean, that was after I graduated. I literally took off just to paint for a week on end, but... Um... The thing is that now, because of my work life sucks so badly and everything, like, you know, it's like I can't get into those grooves anymore like that. So it's like everything's got to be done in one small, like, okay, well, I can get this done today and I can focus on this because if I leave it open, um, 
you know, sometimes it's just like little things, like even like these rocks the other night were causing me problems because some of them had dried. Cause it's just been too long between sessions, and it's like, okay. I mean, it was only two days, but anything with blue anymore that I have, and that's across all my different blues. It's across my Van Gogh um, from Royal Talons paints. It's across my uh, Winton paints. I got somebody else. I can't remember now. I did. Georgina? I think I used to have a blue from Georgina. I don't think I do anymore, but... They've all been, like... They've all been drying really fast. And it's actually a problem. Because I'll dry in a day. Even as thin as I'm kind of putting this stuff on right here in the yellows, this will probably stay wet for a few days on end. But for some reason, the blues will drop off like no problem. And I haven't quite been able to figure out why. And I mean, I'll add, you know, uh, artist medium in there, try to extend it, you know. Um, but for some reason, it's, just, it's a pain in the balls to me. Dude, more drop frames? What the fuck is this thing doing? Is it, is it looking bad? I mean, honestly, I gotta know. Cause if it, I hate when I get done like the whole thing and then it's like, I get I upload to YouTube and it's just it's like, oh, this was a complete shit show the whole night. And I was swept away with nothing. You know what? This will probably work really well here. Lost in a swing of peace, you're all I need to find. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the way I highlight that. Uh, where's this thing? Is that the one I was using? That's the one I was using. Okay. Let's be smart. He says as he puts his goddamn palette on his computer keyboard. And he leaves too much on the brush to actually do what he needs to do. So he ain't right on the tip. That's what she said. Oh yeah, we meet again. It's like we never left. Another Batman thing I saw or uh, watching today, actually. I had a. Uh, it was like top five Batman episodes you never got to see. Batman the Animated Series. I should be specific. Um, I don't need that one right now. The. Um, it was actually a pretty cool article. It was uh, talking about. Um, or, or video, whatever you want to. I mean. Whatever. It's a uh, took stuff from the uh, animated adventures comic, or whatever that DC made. So it was basically in that same kind of universe, you know. It was done in the same art style, um, but they didn't just rehash episodes. They actually made new stuff, and they, uh, they took some storylines out of there, and was like, "Here's some stuff that you'd never got," you know. I like the one that I talk about uh, Riddler beating Batman. And basically it boils down to just that Batman ended up stopping the crime that Riddler was doing out of pure happenstance. He hadn't figured out Riddler's riddle. So Riddler took that as the win. I thought it was pretty cool. Nice. 
Life is like a shooting star. It don't matter who you are if you only run for cover. Just a waste of time. And we are lost till we are found. This phoenix rises up from the ground, and all these walls are over. She will lead us. Oh, yeah. Ow, that hurts. Ow. Ninety five percent sure I got another kidney stone. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Vegetable man with the vegetable band. I was talking like a mariachi band. Coyonda. Mas of this. What those guys? Okay, on the guano. Okay, on the guano. And those blancos, rolling the boxes. Guitars. Abolitas with plastic bags. The popsicle mountain. All right, yeah, let's see what we got here. It's a man with a nice little bang. Hmm. I expect this to have a lot more pop right there. It's not working, so let's try the other grind. Come on, let's see. Wow. Ah, it's, it's a little bit of something. That's ah, a little something to it. There we go. Friends, yeah. 
feel is a real point of duty. They keep it trying to tell me. All you want to do is use me. Mm, but my answer to all that use me stuff. I, 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 I won't spread the news. But if it feels this good getting used, will you just keep on using me? Until you use me up. Until you use me up. My brother! Oh, he sent me right down and he talked to me. Oh, he told me. Uh, I ought to not let you just walk on me. Well, no, he meant well. But when our talk was done. I, I, I said, brother, if you only knew, you wish you were in my shoes. You just keep on using me to use me up. To use me up. Sometimes. Yeah, true, you really do abuse me. Jesus, all that frickin' frame rate drop. What's crazy is it, like, literally tells me 60 frames per second, no big issue, so I don't know what's dropping. I'm plugged in on high-speed internet, shouldn't be any issues there. I can't get enough. All right, I gotta stop this for a second because I gotta go up and give the kids kisses. But good getting used, or oh, you just keep on using me to use me up. Shut down, Gene. Stay up, Gene. All right, there we go. All right, uh, put that off of the keyboard now, so I don't fucking destroy my computer. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go put the kids to bed. Uh, I gotta wash my hands first because I got cat hands on them. Okay, there we go. So, can't have that with the kitties. I gotta wash them first. So, uh, give me about five minutes or so, ten minutes maybe. Depends how bad, how quickly I can.